Hey fellow drone nerds, thanks for joining us today. My name's Joe Kearns and today we've got a video about the DJI Pilot 2 app, some of its unique features, the differences between the last and some, what drones it operates on and comes natively. All right, let's dive in. All right, so what is DJI Pilot 2 app? So that is the basic operation program app that you would find for most enterprise products uh, in the DJI enterprise lineup. It is what is natively built in uh, all the series of uh, enterprise products by DJI from the M300 to the M30 and the M30T to the M3E and the M3T. These all operate on this platform and it gives a lot more functionality than the last and ease of use with some of these new, modern, updated features and updated payloads, sensors, and technology that DJI has packed in these products. So now the last app that was uh, used in most all enterprise products, including the M300, was the DJI Pilot app. Not even Pilot 1, but Pilot app. And that had, uh, it was wonderful, it had great functionality, but a lot of new things have been updated on this for the Pilot 2 app. So with that, basically the same functionality, but just a lot easier of use. I've already noticed uh, when, when operating these devices, buttons are in the right place and uh, easy to navigate uh, on, on each of the controllers. As well as, if anyone has had a moment with the new RC Plus controller uh, that comes with the M30 and M30T. This has a couple other button options along the sides of the controller that is designed so when you're out in the field and it's super cold and you have to wear gloves uh, and you can't use that touch screen, you're able to hit those buttons and it operates in there. So some of that ease of use and functionality has been built in all the way down to the, the to kind of the, the starting level, uh, the first tier which is the Mavic 3 Enterprise, Mavic 3 Enterprise T sitting right here. And it, and it kind of goes through the whole lineup. So excellent work by DJI on this. All right, so let's do a walkthrough of the DJI Pilot 2 app. And what we're gonna do is today, we're gonna use the, uh, the Mavic 3 Thermal and the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. And with that, it's gonna be operating on the DJI RC Pro. And this product, uh, as you can see, it has it natively built in. So let's dive in, let's take a closer look. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the side right here and we're gonna take a look here. So immediately going in, uh, you can see kind of the, the opening screen right here, but we're going into that Pilot 2 app. All right, so first thing we noticed right there, um, this, this was very similar to what was on the uh, Matrice 300 uh, and so on, but this is now across the line of the, uh, the Enterprise uh, drone lineup for DJI. As you can see, you see a couple different really interesting things right here. Uh, and I, I just love this layout. It, it's, uh, you know, there, there's steps instead of immediately going right into the camera view or, or view from that payload, but things that help you operate, uh, plan missions better, uh, kind of just have a general better sense of before a flight. So uh, you can see this flight route right here. Uh, this already has uh, some kind of new features built into it from the last uh, and just easier flight plans and so on. Um, as you look through here, I mean, you can see where it can update into a cloud login service, uh, which is great and be able to stream uh, through this product. Um, and then over to the right, uh, as you can see, this is a, you know, DJI Mavic 3T, M3T right there. Let's you know if you have the right controller. I don't know about you, but uh, you know, there's definitely been a series where I have multitude of drones and similar controllers. And this makes sure it lets you know which one you have right there, which is great. Um, immediately before we go into the next, you can see that up in the right hand side, you can see normal. You can see kind of where the, uh, the health management system is, which is great. Uh, being able to see each kind of piece and what's going on. Um, you know, I'll, I'll notice some stuff every so often uh, about battery and different things like that. And then look right there, firmware, an update. Um, all the updates are, are consistent right now, so great. But if we go all the way back out, you can see right down here, you can see all 
modules need to be updated. So there is something that needs to be updated and that's great. Gives you a, a pre-knowledge. Uh, so a great thing to do before you get out in the field, turn all this on and see if you can get that firmware update. And if you have any questions, also check out one of our videos about updating this exact product actually in the field using a hotspot. So uh, great. So now let's go into enter camera view. And it's, it won't go to camera view, but it will go to the pre-flight checklist. So what a wonderful thing. I actually, personally, I wanna to wanna to see this in the, even the consumer space because it's just it, it, so much in front of you uh, to let you see what's going on. Uh, you know, look, RTK is disabled, like little things like that, just so you're aware of where everything is before the flight. All right, great, so let's, uh, let's go into actual camera view. So up to the upper right-hand side, little X, hit that. Home point updated. Bam, we are in Check the view confirm. at the moment right now. So I'm just aiming this down right now, the, the payload at the moment. Um, but if you remember from the past pilot app, I mean, it, it definitely is similar. I mean, this is still basic uh, functionality, but some easier buttons to use. So um, over left-hand side, over here, you can see the two different uh, other payloads than the payload that we're on right now, or not payload, but more cameras for the Mavic 3T. Right now, we are in wide. You then have the zoom. You know, obviously, we're not gonna see anything there, but wide, and then you can see the IR, which is great. Um, Immediately, since we're talking about the IR, as you see up here, I mean, I just drew a box there, I don't wanna do that. But up here, you see these options, immediately able to see uh, the different kinds of thermal um, and, and you know whatever your preference is on this um, and being able to like change. And it's just, it's just easier to use in this. I always like white hot, so we're gonna go back there. Um, as you also see, you can see that SBS or side-by-side -side view, which is great. So that's uh, being able to access the thermal on one side and the regular uh, camera, uh, either the wide or the zoom on the other, and be able to sync them up so you can see them back and forth. Um, storage, I mean, it, basically the same functionalities. I mean, if you go up to the upper right here, you know, these buttons are a little different where you can see, you know, how, like what the battery is like and so on. Just a little bit changes right there, which is great. Um, and then over left-hand side, um, you can see there's that, that pinpoint option. Ah, so great, still a big fan of this. Um, and be able to click in and out and you can push and hold and be able to like change multiple colors um, and, and, and go through all of those if you'd like. So get back out of there um, and all right, great. So now that is basically some of the functionality and changes that you can kind of see. Um, there's some more in depth stuff we can go through on this. Just want to do a quick overview so you can see all the like what it looks like at the moment and would love to dive in further. So great functionality is across the board with this product or with this app really uh, to be able to utilize every little bit of awesome technology that DJI has packed into these devices. So use cases across the board, all different industries, all different verticals, everything can utilize what this app has had expansion on in the Pilot 2 app. All right, hey, thanks again for joining us today on a, just a quick overview of the DJI Pilot 2 app, some of the uh, changes and functionalities, uh, which is not too much, but just enough. If you have any questions and would like to ask a, a little bit more or, or figure out the right enterprise solution for your organization, please reach out to us at experts at dronenerds.com. Otherwise, have a great rest of the day. Happy flying and be safe. Take care.